Good day, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. My name is Aquatic Feline, and today we'll be taking on the first dungeon. Let's see. We got some eye statues here. Whoa. Swinging my sword seems to lag me a bit. But that's possibly just because I just started recording, and I always lag at the beginning of the recording. There's a button. I bet you the button opens up the closed door. Which way should I go? Okay, I guess those doors lead off to nothing. I did peek around in this dungeon a bit, so I know what I'm doing a bit. Yeah. See, here we come against the bowling balls. And the bowling balls, ouch. Ow, god, jeez. There I go with the god, jeez again. Oh, god. Jeez. Now I'm back to my normal voice. I don't know what was with that accent at the beginning, but I'm like that. So, against those bowling balls, you don't want to be hit by them, as I show, just shown. And, well, now you know why. These skeletons, if you swing at your sword at them, they tr they'll jump out of the way. There are a couple of ways with dealing with them. One, you can just keep swinging your sword, eventually you'll hit them. Uh, other one, spin attacks work really well on them, and the boomerang actually does damage to them. It doesn't stun them, so you can kill them with the boomerang, but that takes a bit longer. If you hit by those things, they drain mana as well as health. Chest map. Thanks. I'll jump down here. Is there anything? All right, I thought you could go places. I guess not. Yeah, it just leads back down here. Nothing special there. What was the whole point of jumping down? Oh, makes zero sense. I guess so. You could. But they could have just made it a one-way door. I don't know. Anyway, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing smashing. See, spin attacks one shot the skeletons. They take a bit to charge, but usually pretty accurate too. Unless you suck like I do, then you may just want to. Boomerang it to death, but boomerang it takes like five hits. One, two, three, four. Four hits, five hits, same thing. Oh, what's with these bones? Skeletons! Oh my god! Of course, the best way of dealing with the skeletons are pots, which seem to be the strongest weapon so far. I want that bomb. When I have the boomerang equipped, I don't pick anything up with my hands. I'm better than that. Skeletons are the most annoying thing ever. Most annoying thing ever! Die. Thank you. Really wish there was more to say about this dungeon, but it's pretty cut and paste. You found the compass. Find the compass, Blue. Oh yeah, I should open the map. So the boss is obviously on the second floor, as you can see here, I'm on the first floor. The grayish rooms are the rooms I haven't explored. I sounded like I was going to say something more to that, but not really. The compass will reveal certain things. What's this? Aqua, it is I, Zahazrala. I, I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Hmm, what defeats armored foes? Uh, uh, I guess I can't go down that way. I wonder what it could be. These guys you can only hit when their eyes are open. I don't know if you can stun them with the boomerang or not. Probably not. Die, Skelly. Die! There we go, yelling at everything to die. They take a lot of hits. Usually not even worth it. You don't need to kill everything in this room anyway. You might notice why I'm not grabbing that chest. Well, you can't grab the chest without the big key. And the big chest, um, it has the item for the dungeon. Every dungeon has an item, and usually it's required to use that item to defeat the boss. This is basic Zelda knowledge, though. If you played a Zelda game, you know how it works. Some dark rooms. 
no torches in it, no place to light fire, I should say. So you're just gonna have to deal with your low line of sight crap junk you have. Red ruby, not bad. And now we're back in the first room. Say hi to the bowling balls, Link. No, don't make me go back there. Okay, this is a room that confused me. I actually died in this room when I was messing around, so this is pretty much as far as I've gotten. I died because I tried to pick up that pot. And well, obviously, I don't know why I would try to pick up that pot. Oh my god, you stupid... I'm sure there's an easy way to deal with them, I just can't. Let's try a spin attack on this one. You wanna fight too? Oh, fighting! Ow. I think I know what this guy needs. A pot. The most off- the strongest weapon in this Zelda game. Okay, now they've let go of the pot. Now I can grab it and press the button. Ouch. I bet you it's the big key. I just have this feeling. Wow, must be psychic. You got the big K. It's the master key of the dungeon. You can open up all kinds of doors with it. Pretty cool. And that leads back here. So now that I have the big key, I can go right here and open the chest and get my well-deserved item, which is probably the bow, given the fact that there's eyeballs all over this dungeon, and eyeballs means bow in Link chat. You can found the bow. Skeletons! Oh my god! They're throwing their heads at me! Who, what, what kind of... Why? Let me equip that bow and try it out. Okay, the bow one-shots the armored guys. You can jump down there, but I'm afraid to. I don't want to know what's in those pots. If I had more than half a heart, I would. But I don't, so... Let's go ahead and light some torches, just to be safe, because I'm almost dead. Jeez, I feel like those guards I saw in the... Are there. Outside of the palace in the last episode. They're shooting their bows at me, and it's really slow. Not sure I like how the bow works in this game or not. At least I got a heart, so that annoying beeper shut up. It's like another... No. Sorry, Ruby's not worth it. I'm not greedy. I'm not a greedy person. I'm not going to play with those thingies. Stairs. Oh god, oh god. Heart! Yay! We're back in track. Maybe we're equipped the bow against these guys, and we should be good. Back in track! Okay. Ah! Get off me! Get off me this instance! Sorry I'm not really saying much, but I don't know what to say. Oh god, the bowling balls, they're back! And this time, they're off the lane. Which button do I push? Which button do I push? That one. Get out of there, Link! You are safe. I wonder how the bow works against the skeletons. Bad if they if you can't hit them. It kills them in one shot, but you actually have to hit them. There's a red guy. Ah, and he's immune to sword. Die, you I'm down here. Uh, I'm down here even though I'm above you. Oh god, he takes two arrows. Awesome. I'm not exactly sure what to do after this palace, so it might just be an incredibly short episode of me going through it. If you have a problem with that, well, that's just dandy. Oh yeah, they're immune to the sword. <laughs> he had an arrow in his head. <laughs> 
reminds me of when I played Dungeon Chiefs with my friend and we used to compete who could become the biggest pincushion because these skeletons would shoot arrows at each and each arrow shot. Oh my god, what is this? They're like immune to all damage. Ah, they're everywhere! Okay, sword works. Okay, I'm not talking. So, these must be the first guys. I actually don't... I vaguely remember them. They don't seem that hard. Of course, they're the first boss. I say they don't see that hard, and... Yeah. The bow obviously will do more damage than the sword. At least that, that's my belief. So if you want to bow them to death, that's fine. Actually, it looks like you can just... Oh god. It's red now. Red means angry. I figured it'd be immune to the sword like the red guys outside, but it's not. I might just... Hmm. So apparently you don't need to use the bow to kill them. What's this? Why, it's the amulet I was looking for. That... Salad... Ham told me to get. That's his new name, Salad Ham. I don't care if that's offensive to whatever language his name is a play on but I cannot pronounce it, and I apologize for that. That is my own American ignorance right there, because the Americans are like that for some reason. Just ask any people who hate America. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to sell it, Salad Ham. Two pendants remain. Okay. Tink! And it took me out of the dungeon. That's pretty cool. Now I have the bow. Oh yeah. And an extra heart. Oh yeah. All is good. I'm gonna be overusing that bow. I always overuse bows in Zelda games. I love them. At first, I thought this bow was kind of slow, but I'm getting used to it now. Let's go talk to Salad Ham and see what he has to say. Ten bucks says he's not there. Okay, he's there. I figured he'd be kidnapped or something. Oh, you got the pendant of courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or, the four gener three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also the guardians dependent of courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed. Yeah, that figures. And the great war that took against evil that took place when the seven wise men created their seal. Among the descendants of the knights of the Hyrule was a hero must appear. I see, Aqua. I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants, and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. Awesome. I already know what those are. You got the Pegasus shoes. Now you can evascate, evis execute a devastating dash attack. A helpful item is hidden on the cave in the east side of Lake Kilia. Go get it. Pretty sure those are the flippers. It's all coming back to me now. Where are they? Oh. Are you saying I don't have to equip them? Awesome! I can just run... Okay, I'm loving this game. Unfortunately, I might stop it there, but I just got the boots, so I wanna have fun with them. Of course, I could just mess around. But nah. Yes, these boots are probably the best thing that's ever invented in the Zelda game. They need to come back in all remaining Zelda games. It's just like the speed booster came back in Metroid Other M, these boots need to return in Zelda Skyward Sword. Sorry, I love running fast. It is the awesomest thing ever. And it's probably the most memorable thing in this Zelda game. This puddle seems memorable to me as well, I'm not sure why. Anyway, I'm gonna take a bath now, so I'll see you guys later. Ow! You know what? Let's go archery competition. Owned. Haha. <laughs> okay. Back to my path. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the dungeon. This is Aquatic Feline, and I'd like to say goodbye to you in the same accent I said hello to, even though I'm pretty sure this isn't the same accent anymore. Meow. Bye. Meow.